Our goal for uh, the last half year has been to figure out how to build additional cave archetypes. Not only trying to establish the visual, but also define a new workflow on how we can make better looking, better performing caves. The new workflow we've figured out for the caves is much more art artist friendly and to a point even where designers can make entire cave rooms without necessarily needing an artist to do any work. The designer could go in and build like a white box room and send this to the Houdini process, which would then return an almost finished cave room. For the first release, there will be new sand caves on Stamile, which is like the prime candidate being a very desert planet, but they will also be going on Magda, Ita, Wala, and Hurston himself. One thing we really liked about the old caves was that they always had this feeling of claustrophobia, and we tried to keep that in some regards. Another thing that was always a concern the old ones was that it was very bumpy to walk through them. So one thing we definitely improved on is walking through them and traversing the space is much smoother and feels nicer in general. Also we added um, a lot more natural light sources, so you will have much more cinematic experiences going through them. The, for the first release there will be no missions, but this hopefully very soon will be remedied shortly. And also for the first release the caves will be walkable on foot only. Like no vehicle entrances, no ship entrances, but the workflow is flexible enough to accommodate those once we get to those. Like this first release is mostly about showing the community the visual we've developed for this archetype. Additional archetypes that are like we are scheduled to work on uh, in the next one year. Um, it's gonna be the, the rock archetype which will replace the existing caves. Um, then we also have the Acidic archetype, which will fit in into Ariel and less parts of Stanton, where you have like those those bubbling acid pools, or salt, or sulfur pools. Um, then there's also the ice archetype, which will be great for Microtech and its moons, for example. And the last one that's actually scheduled is the overgrown one, which will also work well on Microtech in the forests and uh, on the, on Hurston. We as a team are quite proud of the experience we managed to achieve with the new cave archetype that's coming out. It was really fun for us to do and like make this excursion and try to figure out all the problems that come with that. We're looking forward to building all the other archetypes as well to establish workflow now, which has gone much faster and hopefully result in some really cool looking new places the player can experience. Alpha 318 is slated to bring with it a number of new aspects to the Persistent Universe, from the new rivers, the arena racetrack, the career revamp, the prison additions, and new sand caves that we've already discussed this quarter, to the cargo refactor, hull scraping, a persistent entity streaming, and more that we'll be covering over our next five weeks. But occasionally, we like to look even farther ahead and explore the earliest prospects of work that's only now just beginning. And this week, We've got Star Citizen Live game director Todd Pappy to share with us plans for our new new player experience. The first in-game tutorial since Old Gunny tried to help us pilot our way out of the asteroid hangar oh so long ago. The scale and scope of our game, there's a huge, huge learning curve. Obviously, our community has been fantastic, you know, with the help and support for the new players coming on. I think with any game of any size, there needs to be some sort of new player experience to help break down those barriers. We used to have a um, step-by-step, you know, and more story-based um, style uh, introduction, you know, to for players. And the issue with that is as soon as any new mechanics came online or anything like that, then we'd have to go in and basically rebuild it and adjust it. And the upkeep on it was really, really time consuming. Still waiting. I'm Lucas Baramsko, but everyone knows me as Gilly.
with our new new player experience um, aspect that we're we're working towards, it's really taking the player not only from basically the front end and having choices there so that the player can either opt in or opt out, but it's training them in their hab. It's training them to their first store. It's training them over to the spaceport, how to get out of the hangar, get into your ship. You know, where do you need to click in the cockpit? Activated. Then from there, uh, doing some very light missions to basically kind of get you up to speed with ship combat as well as FPS combat. Right now, the teams are working towards the uh, FPS HUD that um, is being built for S42 so that it's got uh, basically contextual hints that, that are up all the time and, and you're in different states. So it's, it's basically um, player interaction experience that, that we're working on and, and we've spec'd out you know, for S42 as, as well as for the Persistent Universe. So we're waiting on them to do the first pass on the HUD and, and the first pass on the system. And then from there, that trickles down to us. We need to reskin it and, and do it um, regarding the subsumption hooks and everything like that. We've, we've already got all that spec'd out. The teams are working towards that right now. Um, front end experience, um, we just need to make sure that one of our team from USPU works on that and, and builds that out. Then there's all the signage and everything like that in our landing zones. Our branding team is going through and looking at that experience and doing the test on Area 18 at first. And then we'll be taking that to Lowerville, um, New Babbage and, and Horizon. It's a work in progress right now, but we're really working towards uh, getting this out to the players. And this is just like a smaller bite size. Um, a uh, new player experience and we'll be working on a much larger experience when we get closer to uh, switching this over to beta. So what did we learn this week? Well, we learned that the EU Sandbox 2 team continues to build out the world beneath Star Citizen's worlds with new cave types including sand, acid, and soon ice. And that all those players out there currently helping new citizens get their start in the verse have help on the way as the new player experience continues to develop into the next year. Now, don't forget that Ship Showdown is still underway, and it's your chance to determine the best of the best of Star Citizen ships and vehicles. And if you haven't seen some of the commercials and songs that have been created by the community, do yourself a favor and check those out. For Inside Star Citizen, I'm Jared Huckabee. We'll see you all here next week.